So believe it or not, I decided to install Bad Company 2 again. It's been a long, long time since I've played this game. In fact, I think I almost completely stopped last November, so nearly a whole year. But I decided just to whack it back in and have a few games. Why? Because I know I'm only playing quite a lot of Battlefield 3 soon when Armored kills out. And I just kind of fancied having a game. Because there's something about Bad Company 2. It just feels so crisp to me when I... Maybe it's because I've played it so much. But it just feels like such a crisp, fun game. There's always some action going on. There's never any sort of any sort of delay in things and it has got a really satisfying learning curve to get up and even now there are a lot a lot of people still playing it so if you you know if you haven't played it in a while it might be worth sticking back in because I actually had more fun with this in, in these few games here than I was actually having with Battlefield 3, although that's probably because I just installed it. Um, but I thought I'd tell you about some other things actually, having just explained this bit of gameplay here. It isn't all chopper flying, I just put up a few highlights from the, uh, from the last few days. But last week I went to an interview. Random change of topic, yes, but uh, <laughs> believe it or not, YouTube is not my, my job. Some people do ask me that um, from time to time. I just do this as a hobby. Uh, I mean, so a lot of people do do it as, as a sort of full-time job, but um, I, I've actually trained to become a solicitor. Oh, actually, I don't know how many of you actually knew that already. I, I have mentioned it previously. But of course, I have to go to job interviews, and they asked me a rather random question at, uh, at one of them. And I thought I'd tell you guys what this question was, and then you can sort of, if I give you a bit of time, <laughs> like a test, See if you can guess the answer. Like they, they gave me about two minutes to think of the answer for this or to provide possible solutions, okay? And the question was this. It was, uh, why are manhole covers circular? Now, if you're not from the UK, I don't know what they're called in the US either, um, but manhole covers are basically the, the circular sort of metal plates which cover ladders down into the in, into sewers in like towns and cities. So you know you might see them in the middle of the road or something, or on the pavement. And um, government people can they've got like a, a special key thing which unlocks them, and then they can go down and I don't know fight alligators or whatever they do in the sewer. Um, but this is that that's what they asked me. They asked me why are manhole covers circular instead of I don't know square or triangular or whatever. And they might be those shapes in your country, but there is a reason. So. Do you know what it is? Pause the video now and tell me what you think in the comments, because it might not be what you actually think it is. Okay, so if you've paused the video, I'm going to tell you what the answer is now. Um, it's apparently so that they don't fall down the hole onto somebody below. Now, I eventually got this answer. I, I thought it was something to do with, like, I don't know, perhaps a circle saves on metal or something, or maybe when they're making them, they kind of stack easier if they're in circle, or something like that. That, that was what I initially said. Um, but apparently the right answer is because they don't fall down the hole. Because, um, of course, if you have a square manhole cover, then if you turn it so that it's diagonal, it can actually fall down the hole on somebody who's at the bottom of it. But what a random question for an interview. And I was actually reading a book about some of these kind of things. Um, I don't know whether you guys have got uh, jobs yet. I suppose if, if some of you are below 16, then you probably won't have. I don't know if, I don't know if you can even get them below that age. Um, but I swear, interviewers are asking more and more random comments recently because Microsoft asks um, when, when they, I don't know, recruit programmers or whatever, they ask a really strange question to the vast majority of them and it became sort of a famous question that was, uh, a book was written about it, like an entire book was written about this question. But it's how, the, the question Microsoft asked to sort of the people they interview is how would you move Mount Fuji? Now, I don't know exactly where Mount Fuji is, but um, it is a genuine mountain, I think. But one of the questions is, how would you move Mount Fuji from one location to another location? Now, that's a pretty tough question, isn't it? I mean, what? Well, I mean, how long would that take? Would you have to, I don't know, would you dig it out by hand? Was there, is there any other way that you could actually move it? But apparently that's like what interviewers want now. They they sort of ask you these these strange questions that apparently test how suitable you are for the job. Um, what moving Mount Fuji's got to do with programming? I have no clue whatsoever. But uh, just watch out for them if you ever do get a job in the future. Because I was surprised recently. I was really surprised. But onto something a little bit more video game related. Daisy. Oh my God. Some of you'll be saying. I hate Daisy. I hate listening about Daisy. Why has he brought this up in a Battlefield video? Well, I usually wouldn't, but yesterday I found what must be perhaps the best loot of gear I have ever seen. You'll see it in episode 11, which will be up 
probably tomorrow or possibly the day after depending on how much time it takes to edit it up. Um, but I found literally 10 AS50s, I don't know, 5 or 6 L85s, loads of high power rifles, night vision goggles, range finders, pretty much everything you could ever possibly want. So I've decided that I'm going to set up a gun shop, which uh, you can just come in and purchase, well not purchase, you uh, it's essentially first come first served. You don't have to give me any equipment, I've already got plenty of equipment. So you can just come and if you're new to the game you can get yourself a high powered rifle if you're there on time, whatever you want. These are the details for it. I'll be doing this at 5pm GMT tomorrow in the EUK server. Uh, so you just search for EUK either in multiplayer or in Daisy Commander or in Six Launcher, whatever you use, just search for that and you should be able to find the server. So that's 5pm GMT on the 26th of August 2012. You can find out what GMT is just of course by googling it if you're unsure what it is in relation to your own time. Uh, if you come to the supermarket in the centre of Cherno, uh, then all the guns will be laid out on there, of course, first come, first serve. Just make sure that when you do come, you sort of shout out and in the in-game chat, Frankie's Gun Shop, and security won't kill you. Hopefully, it'll be hacker-free, although I doubt it, or it's just going to turn into the Hunger Games or something like that as soon as somebody gets guns. But I will be recording it for episode 11, so we'll see how long people's morals hang out. Uh, but anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, although if you prefer Battlefield 3 I completely understand and that will be in the next video. If you leave me a comment telling me what you think about the video and possibly a rating, it is much appreciated. And on that note guys, I'll see you in the next chapter.